And that was Ken O'Shea reporting on the human reality of 20 years of change. Well, let's stick with personal perspectives for a few more minutes. We've asked two people with particular insight but radically different perspectives to deliver judgment on our nation's last 20 years. First up is chairman of the Anglo-Irish Bank, Sean Fitzpatrick. Let's cast our minds back to the mid-80s. It's easy to forget those days of negative growth, high unemployment, high taxation, high interest rates, balance of payment problems, and mass emigration. Ireland wasn't exactly a great place to do business then. We were conservative, lacked flair, and business confidence. The pace at which things were done was pedestrian, bureaucracy prevailed, but even worse, there was very little hope for our young and educated who emigrated in their tens of thousands. But the last two decades or so has just blown all of that away. It was as if overnight we discovered just how good we were. We were bright, well-educated, flexible, good-natured, creative, and even hard-working. The paddy stopped drinking G&Ts before the three-course, three-hour lunch and found Ballygown, the bowl of soup, and the ham sandwich. They had ideas and they had balls. We would put in whatever hours and whatever miles it required to take those ideas and turn them into business successes. The brightest and best of our school leavers stopped automatically signing up for the professions or indeed leaving the country. Commerce faculties, business schools, property qualifications became trendy and numerous. And all the time as we worked the scene and maximized the moment, the rest of the world watched in astonishment. And that is no exaggeration. The authorities on these matters, the economists, the Financial Times, the Wall Street Journal and others eventually came to marvel at what we were achieving. Of course, the economic boom has brought some trouble in its wake. It has led to excesses that have had the potential to damage the very fabric of our society. However, what must be acknowledged is that for all the reservations, some of which are well-founded, the Celtic Tiger has been a force for extreme good in Ireland. It has allowed us stretch ourselves and express ourselves in a manner that was unthinkable in the business culture of the recent past. With Sean Fitzpatrick and